So we've talked about our foliated metamorphic rocks, which I have uh, down here. So there's the foliated ones. We're going to pull those out of the way, the slate, the phyllite, the schist, the gneiss. And we'll talk about our non-foliated metamorphic rocks. And we'll start with this one. This, just by looking at this, you'd probably guess if you just picked it up, oh, that's probably a piece of quartz, right? It kind of looks like massive quartz. Uh, do I have some sitting on the table? Uh, it appears that I do not. Oh, well. So it looks like a piece of quartz. However, if I put acid on this, it will fizz. Just like calcite and limestone, and the parent rock of marble is limestone, and it really doesn't—it doesn't really matter what type of limestone it starts with. Uh, you'll end up getting marble. Now, sometimes you can metamorphose this pretty heavily, and you can even kind of maintain some of the fossil shapes in there. I've seen marbles where you can sort of see the remnants of what probably was once a fossil, and it kind of started to recrystallize. So they're not always this super crystal, and sometimes they're a little more wavy looking and kind of decorative. You'll see that a lot in uh, building stone and countertops that are made out of marble and whatnot. But a lot of times it actually does get really recrystallized and heavily crystalline like, like this piece. But the real way to tell it, again, is using acid. So if I test you guys on this stuff and I use a video to, to test you on, if you're looking at a metamorphic rock and I put acid on it, it's marble, right? So crystalline looking rock uh, fizzes is marble. So, there's a marble. Parent rock is limestone. We'll do this one. This is a piece of quartzite. It is super, super hard. This is not a very big rock. You'd think I could bust this apart with a rock hammer. I would struggle to bust this apart with a rock hammer. I'd probably need a sledgehammer. At least I would want a sledgehammer uh, to break it apart. Uh, quartzite... is a metamorphosed sandstone, usually. Uh, where's my sandstone? So there's my quartz sandstone. So if I give this a lot of heat and pressure, it will turn into this. Which, it kind of maintains the, the texture, sort of. If it's not, it's not quite as sandy. It's not like I can scrape off the sand of a, a quartzite, but it still has that sort of sugary look to it. There can be a lot of different types of colors with quartzite. Don't ask me what controls the color. Uh, I can't remember, but I've seen green quartzites. I've seen pink quartzites like this, uh, and, and just all the colors of the rainbow. So don't rely on color for quartzite. Uh, rely on a rock that's really, really hard and kind of dense and just kind of shiny. Uh, like this. If I quiz you on a, if we do the test online like we are this summer, because um, I recognize this might be hard, harder to distinguish from some other things because you can't actually sit there and discover how hard or dense it is or whatever. Um, I don't know. I will figure out out some way to to kind of help you out. But uh, like like quartz sandstone and like quartz, because this is just a bunch of quartz. Uh, all kind of crystallized together in really small bits. Um, it, it, it maintains those properties, of course. So I could scratch glass with this if I if I wanted to. So moving on, here we have anthracite coal, or you can just call it anthracite or anthracitic coal. Uh, it looks a lot like obsidian, actually. Our igneous rocks. If you remember obsidian, do I have a piece over here? Yeah, I do. So there's a piece of obsidian. Wow, those look really similar. If you were holding them, oh boy, even when you, I look at them, just holding them. <laughs> I was thinking maybe the camera uh, doesn't help you out, but no, really, they look so similar. Uh, obsidian will be sharper. Like I can actually cut myself on this if I give it a, if I just grip it hard enough, I'll cut myself. I could probably grip this as hard as I want, and it'll never cut me. So anthracite isn't quite as sharp. Uh, and it's lighter, and it's just a little more resinous, and it even feels kind of greasy. So that's kind of the way you tell it from apart from a obsidian. And again, if I test this, uh, test you on this online with a video, I'll probably tell you it's a metamorphic rock, honestly. And so that way you can narrow out that it's not obsidian. Um, it, it its parent rock is just other pieces of coal. 
So here's my bituminous coal, which is much more blockier and kind of has some dull parts and is much lighter and breaks apart really easily. I mean, I can just kind of sit here and rub it and I'll get black stuff on my hands. I can do that all day with this anthracite and not so much. So that's anthracite, parent rock, bituminous coal. Quartzite, parent rock is usually quartz sandstone. I say usually because if you did, if you metamorphosed a chert, you'd probably get a quartzite. Uh, and there's <clears throat> some really quartz heavy uh, igneous rocks you could probably metamorphose and get quartzite out of uh, if it's just entirely made of quartz or almost all of quartz. Um, that's coal. That's bituminous coal. Uh, marble, whose parent rock is limestone. And then again, the. Uh, these uh, foliated igneous rocks, which are a series. You can get all of these, for, you can ha have a piece of shale, and if you give it enough uh, heat and pressure for long enough, it will eventually yield nice. So that is the uh, metamorphic rocks and the chemical, sorry, not chemical, the non-foliated uh, metamorphic rocks up here. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions.